Welcome back to DXB Today. Bit of a sort of medical special, why? End of the year just round the corner, resolutions are plenty. And what's that advice we always get? Always get a second opinion. Well, today we're getting about four opinions on the show, but they all seem to be tracking the same way. Let's get our next uh, uh, guest into the picture now. Consultant orthopedic uh, surgeon at the Adam Vital Hospital joining us now uh, live here uh, on the sofa, Dr. Kateba Selman. Thanks so much indeed for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. Kind of you. Thank I, you mean, I, mean, I think you know the question that's going to come first and foremost. Yes. Again, it is that start of a new year. I mean, is it? It, it, we, everyone has that, you know, we call it the resolution now, but yeah. it's that new chapter, it's new life, it's yes. making a few amends. Is there anything wrong with that? Do you see an uptick in the number of appointments? Uh, yeah, sometimes sometimes we do, uh, because some some people have has the, the knowledge enough that uh, they want to, to plan something. We're talking about exercising, which is a part of many uh, people who decide to start a new and healthy life uh, will go through. Uh, so but does that yes. come with risk? Because if people say, of right, I'm, from January the 1st, I'm going to play tennis every uh, uh, single uh, day of the week. Exactly. And I'm going to turn my body around. Exactly. And that's what makes it sometimes uh, healthy but unsafe. Because you have to be uh, sure uh, which sport you're choosing. Because not all sports fits anybody. You know, you have to make sure that you're choosing something which fits you. And we're talking now uh, about the ordinary people, not those who are bodybuilders or professional sport, uh, sport professionals. We're talking about the ordinary people. So you, you never know that you have, uh, for instance, uh, uh, as simple as uh, some defects in your joints, you know, uh, and that's, uh, or your muscles. And you, it's not you who decide whether you're fit for, for this or not. Uh, always a good idea to consult your doctor uh, for further further information about what you'd like to do and uh, as simple as that you know so you you'll be safe because I can give you an examples of uh, somebody who is uh, trying to go to the gym and then they start uh, pushing on them the coaches and, and uh, the trainers they try start pushing on them uh, too hard and they come with different sort of injuries. Sure. That's what so I was planning on doing to Dina uh, when yeah, she yeah. starts her New yeah. Year's resolution. <laughs> so, so what would you advise? What, would, what kind of exercises would you advise to prevent? Of course, uh, before starting uh, exercising, I would, like everything else, uh, if you have a good foundation, uh, I would uh, recommend that you write everything down, uh, make it as a plan, so that would become verified, and then you could always go back to it and, and check whether you're doing it or not. Or getting a goal. Like exactly, a goal. exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, as simple as also very important is uh, to check your vitamins because you know uh, we're living, we are privileged being living in, in Dubai uh, that you have the possibility that you just go directly and see your, your specialist or even the sub specialist. I don't think this is available anywhere in the world at the moment. Uh, so, uh, so just going there and you know uh, uh, trying to, uh, uh, to talk with your doctor and your specialist about uh, what's your plans uh, that will be uh, much safer and much easier for you so dr kateba i've been giving away my age all episode okay. I'm turning 40 next month ah! anyway, um, <laughs> but i am i'm just taking a lot of things into consideration one injuries whenever i get injured now you know it used to take me a couple days to recover from now last a month and it can be something as simple as me like turning my neck like i don't know yeah. what's happening no. so what can we do to prevent injuries to keep ourselves generally healthy but also if we're someone who's not that someone like me who's not that as excited about working out in the gym yes. what other measures would you um or activities or whatever it is um healthy Yes. Lifestyles to maintain, would you recommend? That wasn't really English, but you hear I mean. Yeah, there's no. Uh, any of many don't have even probably the time to go to the gym, uh, you know, because of the family circumstances or because of the job circumstances. There are so many things you could do at home, uh, as simple as, uh, for instance, walking, you know, uh, or going up and down the stairs, uh, or even do some cleaning in, in the house. Uh, that, uh, just keep moving, you know. Uh, uh, again, uh, as part of being in Dubai, uh, we, uh, most of the people have a gym nearby, but uh, at the same time, there, there is a swimming pools and there is the hydrotherapy, which is a very safe and recommended uh, kind of exercise. 
uh, and um, so on, you know. Some people uh, are also, uh, you know, fortunate that uh, they have their ritual, rituals, uh, especially for Muslims. Like we have these prayers five times a day, mm. where you do all these movements and uh, uh, what you require to be fit. You know, you do the squatting, you, you do the standing, the sitting. Uh, so it's it's all in, in this ritual. A little bit like yoga. Yeah. Uh, again, <laughs> yeah. Some some people uh, are also privileged that uh, they can do and yeah. and uh, deep uh, go deep inside with uh, some kind of uh, meditations and yoga and, and things like that. All these things, I would say, uh, they are safe. Yeah. Uh, safe to practice. I think uh, a, a good balance between your mental and yes. mental health and physical. Thank yes. you so much, Dr. Kteba. It's Welcome. been a pleasure to have you here in the studio with us. It. Thank now, you. before we let you both go, Dr. Shafali, we're going to get to know you a little bit here. Amy, what's what's going on today? Yeah, Who's so in? we have got a DXB in 60 where we're going to give you some quick fire questions oh, wow. to get to know you a little bit better. So we can we can all get to know her a little yeah. bit better. Yes. <laughs> so can we have a 60 seconds on the clock? Okay, Dr. Shafali, if you weren't a doctor, what industry would you be working in? Be an actor. Fabulous. One thing that you cannot live without? The training. Your motto in life and work? If I'm going to treat my pa uh, any of my patients, I should be able to give what I'm advising my patients to my mum. Incredible, I like that. What was your first ever job? Uh, I was a doctor. <laughs> your hidden gem in Dubai? <laughs> my, sorry, I didn't miss Hidden that. gem in Dubai. Oh gosh, actually home, home was my gem. I like that. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Wow, I probably would say be invisible. Nice, your inspiration? My mum. A book that you're reading at the moment? Wow, I haven't read actually since uh, the summer. Um, I would say sleep. Uh, by Matthew Walker, it's, uh, oh, I forgot the actual title, but it's by Matthew Walker. Incredible. Last question, just as the 60 seconds is finishing, why Dubai? Oh, it's where I grew up, it's home. Home Fantastic. for me. Fantastic. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, yes, home is, for, it's here home for so many of us. Yes. So thank you so much for uh, joining us and thank you again for joining us uh, as course. Thank you. Big thanks to both of our guests. Now coming up, we're bringing you some of our uh, absolute highlights from the show plus we've got a talented musician on set with us so you know the rules don't go anywhere